Welcome to another video on integration by parts. In this example, we're going over the integral of 4x multiplied by the natural log of x dx. And I wrote the integration by parts formula for us here on the top of the screen. And don't be intimidated or scared. I think once you see us work out this example, um, it's actually not that bad. Um, and if you notice in this formula how we have an f of x and we have a g prime of x. So that's our first step in integration by parts, in integration by parts is we want to pick our f of x. Okay? And the general rule of thumb is that whatever you pick for f of x, you want the derivative of that to be simpler. All right? So that's why I'm going to pick the natural log of x to be f of x. All right? So our f of x is equal to the natural log of x and the derivative f prime of x is equal to the derivative of the natural log of x which is just 1 over x uh, which is good uh, we got rid of the natural log and the derivative is indeed simpler and now the next thing we want to do is pick our g prime of x uh, notice in our formula how we have g prime of x well if we already picked the natural log to be f of x now we know that g prime has to be the 4x. So our g prime of x is equal to 4x. And we can use this information uh, to find g of x. We can take the integral of g prime to get our function g of x. And the integral of 4x is 4x squared over 2, or you could say 2x squared. And now we can use all this information to plug into our formula. Um, so if we go back to our formula, uh, this is all equal to f of x times g of x. All right, And we know that our f of x is equal to the natural log of x. So we have the natural log of x being multiplied by g of x. And we know that g of x is equal to 2x squared. So this is being multiplied by 2x squared. And this is all being subtracted by the integral of f prime of x. We know that f prime of x is equal to 1 over x. So we have 1 over x being multiplied by g of x. And we know our g of x is equal to 2x squared. So we have 2x squared for g of x. And then we can't forget to put our dx. So now we need to simplify this a little further. And on the left side, I'm just going to keep it the same. We have the natural log of x being multiplied by 2x squared. And inside the integral, we have a x on the bottom and we have two x's on the top. So uh, the x is going to cancel out on the bottom and we're going to have one left on top. So the only thing we're left with, with, left with inside the integral is 1 multiplied by 2x, which is just 2x and then we have our dx at the end. And now moving on to our next step, I'm going to scroll down just to give myself a little bit more space. And the left side is going to stay the same. We have the natural log of x being multiplied by 2x squared. And now our integral is quite simple. We can use basic integration, just adding 1 to the exponent and dividing by the same. So the integral of 2x um, is 2x squared over 2. Uh, which simplifies to x squared. And for a indefinite integral, we can't forget to add our plus c. So now it looks like the only thing left we can do is just simplify this a bit using algebra. Uh, notice how both of these terms have an x squared in common. So I'm going to factor out an x squared. And in our first term, the only thing we have left over is the natural log of x times 2, or you could say 2 times the natural log of x. It's always better to put the constant in front. And in our second term, uh, the only thing we're left over uh, is, is 1. So we need to subtract this by 1. And we can't forget to add our plus c. And this is our final answer. Uh, using integration by parts, uh, we integrated and we got x squared multiplied times 2 times the natural log of x minus 1 plus c. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, check out my integration by parts uh, calculus quiz um, if you want to get some extra practice with these problems and I will see you in my next video.